Question number 7. Diagram 3 shows a symmetrical tube such that point A B are on the same level. A marble is released from point A and moved towards the, the moves through the tube towards point B and until it stops instantaneously for the first time at point C. The marble will move back and forth through the tube until it stops completely at point O. Okay. The, mar uh, the marble stops in instantaneously for the second time at point D and stops instantaneously the third time at point E. Distance travel, uh, same ratio, same ratio you know it is, geometrically. Geometric progression. Okay, so what they're trying to say is that the ball is, is on point A is going to roll and stop at point C. Okay, you're going to stop at point C. Then it's going to go back, stop at point D, and then it's going to go back, stop at point E. Okay, and so on. So we know that A to C is the first uh, roll, and then C to D is the second roll, D to E is the third roll. Okay. So now let's see what is given to us. The total distance traveled by the marble from point C to point a uh, point A to point C, and then C to D is six to nine over four. So that means we know that the first okay we know that T one is the first that means from A to C right, and then C to D is the second second stream. So that means T one plus T two, or you can just straight away write S two. That means the first and the second swing. The distance traveled, both of them plus together should be equal to 6, 2, 9, over 4. Okay, so that's what it means here. The distance traveled from point D to E. So D to E is the 1, 2, 3, the third one. Okay, so the third term is 4913 over 80. Okay, so that's the distance for the third term. If the marble takes one minute to stop completely, one minute to stop, deter, or that means, oh, okay, at point O. So that means it keeps going left, right, left, right, right until after one minute, it lands at zero. That means it stops. Okay. Determine whether the average speed exceeds 10 cm per second. So they're asking us to find the speed. So to find the speed, we need the formula is what distance over time, right? So the time is already given here, one minute. So that means we have to find the distance, the total distance traveled, okay, from A all the way to uh, O until it stops. How, how much has it traveled? So to find how much it traveled, because we don't know how many times, right? We don't know how many times it swings. So we can use sum of infinity. Okay, we can find, I'm doing in reverse. Huh? I'm trying to solve this question by looking from behind. Okay, so to find the total distance, we can find the sum of infinity. So this is total distance because we don't know how many times it swings. Okay, so the sum of infinity. So once we find the sum of infinity, we divide by the time, we should get the speed. Clear? So question is, how do we find sum of infinity? We know the formula is A over 1 minus R. So we need to find A and R first. So A and R we can find using the two information given here, 1, 2, okay? Because by using these two equations, we can find the A and the R, simultaneous equation, okay? So we're going to do that. Alright, if you don't understand what I'm saying, we can do, we'll, we'll do together, okay? So the first one, okay, let us, let me use this three way. We know that this is sum of the first two terms, right? So the first term is A, the second term is A times R, okay? Whereas for the third term, it will be A, R, 3 minus, power 3 minus 1, okay? Which is power 2, A, R square, okay? So we can solve this. Let us do this together. So first one is 4, 9, 1, 3 over 80 equals A, R square. Then the second equation is... 6, 2, 9 over 4 
equals a plus a r. So I'm going to make mm, I'm going to make a the subject. Okay, for this make a the subject substitute into the second one. So a will be a equals four nine one three over a t r square. So bring it here six two nine over four equals four nine one three over a t r square. Hmm, this number, I mean, I think this one can, but it seems like it's a very big number. Let me see if we can make it easier. Hmm. What we can do, okay, you know what? I'm going to do another way. I find it this is much easier. You can do this way, substitution, because uh, that's what you learn, right? It's simultaneous. But because the number will become big, so I'm going to do this instead. I'm going to divide. I'm going to take um the first one so a plus a over uh, a plus a r over a r square okay that means the second for let's say this is the first equation this is the second equation huh? i'm taking the first divide by the second okay so when that happens it should also be equal to six two nine over four divide by four nine one three over eighty okay so I'm just taking the first equation, divide by the second equation. So this is what I got. Okay, why am I doing this? Because I can just straight away simplify. So the a I can divide, I factorize. So one plus a, one plus r over a r square. So I can cut this equals to. So this whole thing you can just straight away type in your calculator. Six two nine over four, divide by four nine one three over eighty. Okay, just straight away type this in your calculator. You should get um, 740 over 289. Okay. It's just a faster way to solve. La. You can also use the substitution method just now, but the number will become very big. Okay. So now that we have gotten this, we can cross multiply. Okay, when you cross multiply, what we will have is 289 plus 289R equals 740 r square okay now we can we have a quadratic already so everything i'm going to bring to the right side so i get 740 r square minus 289 r minus 289 okay so now i can factorize so you will get 20 minus eh, sorry 20 r minus 17 and 37 r plus 17 okay so r is equals 17 over 20 and the other r will be negative 17 over 37 but we have to reject the negative okay because you can't have a negative uh, distance right there's no way you get a negative distance so you cannot use the negative r so we only use this okay 17 point uh, sorry, 17 over 20. So when we have r is this, so we can just straight away find the a. I'll use the second, e third, sorry, second equation, yeah. i use second equation. So uh, 4, 9, 1, 3 over 80 equals a r square. r is what? 17 over 20 square. Okay, so a equals to 4, 9, 1, 3 over 80 divide by 17 over 20 square so a should be equals to 85 cm okay so this is the a and r so question now wants you to find the we want to find the total total distance right total distance equals to the right here total distance is the sum of infinity lah. so sum of infinity equals to a a is 85 over 1 minus r. r is 17 over 20. Okay, so you key this in your calculator, you get your answer 1700 over 3. Okay, I'm not going to use decimal because I want as, as accurate as possible, so I'm going to use this. So this will be the total distance, uh, the distance in cm. Okay, so we want to find the speed. The speed should be equal to distance over time. So distance is 1700 over 3. Divide by the time is 
one minute. So one minute, since the unit here is cm per second, I have to use seconds. So it's 60 seconds. Okay. Key this in your calculator, you get 85 over 9, which is the same as 9.44 cm per second. So the question is asking, determine whether the average speed of the marble exceeds 10 cm per second. So your answer is no, it does not exceed. Okay, because this one you can see it is less than 10 cm per second. Clear? So this is your answer.